all doing very well. Um, this video is going to be my nail polish collection and I just kind of want to let you know that this isn't everything that I own because when I came up here to university I didn't want to bring everything with me because that would just be ridiculous and it would just be too heavy and it would just be way too much. So I just kind of brought my favorites with me and I'm missing one. I don't know where it went. It's just lost in this disaster, which is my OPI Samoan Sand, which is like my favorite nude color. But it's somewhere around here. I'm sure I'll find it. But since we're all packing and getting ready to go home, um, I figured that I would just show you guys my nail polish collection because it's going to be packed away. And it's all together right now, so I figured why not show it to you guys since you guys always request this. So just bear in mind that this isn't everything that I have. I do have some stuff at home, but this is a good chunk of it, I think. And um, if you want some updates from me, be sure to stay tuned till the end of this video, and I'll be giving you guys kind of a little update on what's going on. But I didn't want to put it at the beginning because... I just want to get the nail polish out of the way for those of you who don't care. So um, the first one I have is actually what I'm wearing right now, and it's OPI's Coney Island Cotton Candy. And this is just a really pretty nude natural color. It's kind of a peachy pink color, and I really like it just for those days when you don't really want anything loud on your nails, and it just looks like your natural nails only better. As you can see, it's not like completely nude, so it doesn't make your fingers look dead or anything. And I have OPI's Lincoln Park After Dark, which is a very popular color. This is kind of a um, purple with a bit of red in it, and it's just a really deep, nice color. Great for winter time and fall. Now, this one is Dazzled by Gold, also by OPI, which is just a metallic gold color. Then I have Happy Anniversary, also by OPI, and this is just a shimmery, um, sparkly white color, and I love putting this over the top of, like, baby pinks, and it just really can transform the color of whatever nail polish you're wearing underneath. This one is um, OPI's You Got To Get This Blue, which is a really pretty, deep, kind of sapphire blue color, and it's metallic, it's shimmery, and it has some hints of purple in it, and it's really similar to another favorite of mine, which is the Berry M Nail Paint in Navy, which I got from Fleur, and as you can see, they're really similar to each other. So um, the only difference is I would say that the OPI one um, is more sparkly and the Berry M one is more metallic. Alright, so then I have a Sephora by OPI nail color and this one is Dear Diary and this is a really light pastel pink color. It goes on really creamy onto your nails um, and it's just a great natural color. And I have Revlon's um, Pink Chiffon color 911, 911. Um, and it's also just a light pink color. I wear it, um, well I used to wear this a lot. I don't wear it as much anymore because it is pretty similar to the OPI Dear Diary and it's also um, a little bit similar to this next one which is OPI's Pinking of You which is a really pretty baby pink color. I love wearing this both on my toes and on my fingernails. And I have a Stanley Hansen Complete Salon Manicure in number 440 Calypso Blue, which is a really pretty bright blue with sparkles in it. I, this is my favorite shade of blue. I love it. It's like a cerulean blue color. And it doesn't look the greatest on my skin tone, but since it's my favorite color, I wear it anyways. And then I have another Sally Hansen um, nail polish in the color 420 Yellow Kitty, which is a really pretty pastel yellow. This is one of my favorite nail polishes. And the great thing about um, the Sally Hansen nail polishes, well, I think it's a great thing, is the really unique brush. It has like a wide, flat brush, and I really like that. I like big brushes because that way I can paint my nails faster. Then I have my um, Revlon Multi Care Base and Top Coat, which I talk about a lot. You guys ask me what my favorite top coat or base coat is, and this is both. So it's a two-in-one product, and it will make your nail polish last a long time. 
At the most, I've had my nail polish last for up to two weeks with this stuff. So it's really great, and I like it way better than the Seche Beat, which is ridiculously expensive. Then I have um, OPI's Will Always Have Paris, which is one of my favorite winter slash fall colors. If you watch my old videos, you'll see me wearing this a lot. It's just a deep burgundy wine color, and I love this color so, so, so much. Then I have two MAC nail polishes. This one is Abalone Shell, which is a nude color, and if you're looking for a dupe for this, Samoan Sand by OPI is pretty much an exact dupe for this nail polish. I believe this came out with the spring collection, the spring color forecast, and this one also came out with the spring color forecast collection. This one is Galore Pink, and it's just a really pretty hot pink color. It's like a Barbie pink, the quintessential Barbie pink color, and I love it. Great for nails, toes, everything. So those are my two MAC nail polishes that I have. And then I have some China Glaze nail polishes here. Um, the first one I have is um, Light as Air, which is a really kind of unique color. It's a dusty, grayish, light purple color. It kind of looks white on camera, but it's not white. It's a dusty, grayish, purple color. I really like it, though. Then... Ooh, everything's slipping and sliding everywhere. Okay, then I have one of my favorites, which is Refreshment. And this is a minty green color, and the cap is dirty because I'm a bit clumsy when it comes to nail polish. But this is one of my favorite colors. I wear it all the time, um, and it's really on trend for this season. Mint greens, jade greens, those types of colors. Then I also have Peachy Keen which is a really pretty peach color. It looks a lot lighter on camera. This is actually more of an orangey color when you put it on, which I was kind of disappointed about because I wanted it to be a light peach color, but I still like it. It's just brighter than what I was expecting it to be. Um, I have OPI's Visions of Sugar Plum, which came out with their holiday collection, and this is a sparkly purple color. And then this one, I believe, is also from their holiday collection. Oop! Well, there goes that nail polish. Um, this one is called Dreaming of Red, and this is also from their holiday collection. This is a really pretty red um, with some shimmer in it. It's kind of like a metallic red color. It's really pretty when you put it on. And then another red I have is, this is one of my um, favorite reds. This is Sephora by OPI's Personal Shopper. This is a great all-around red color. It's just really creamy. There's no shimmer in it. I don't really like um, nail polishes that have too much shimmer in them. I prefer um, creamy nail polishes, so this is one of my favorite reds. Another one of my favorite reds, um, technically it's a coral color, is from Revlon, and I just got it not too long ago. If you follow me on Twitter, then you heard me raving about this color. It's Revlon's Craving Coral, which is color 902, and it looks like this. And I'm actually wearing this on my toes right now, and I haven't had a bright color on my toes in so long, but I love looking down at my toes now because they're just so bright, and I love this coral color. And then, let's see here. I have some more Sephora by OPI colors. I didn't realize I had so many. Um, this one is Metro Chic, which is my all-time favorite nail polish color. I talk about this all the time, and I send it to people when I do swaps with them. I sent it to Fleur because you can't get it over in the United Kingdom. So this is just a really unique color. It's um, kind of like a dirty grayish purple. It's like a really muddy color, but I really like those muddy grayish brown purples. And China Glaze is actually coming out with a color and I think it's their Vintage Vixen collection that's coming out in fall. And the name is Ingrid, and it's described as a grayish color. So I'm really, really excited for that. And um, if anything, I'll just get it because it's my name. And it's really rare to find my name on anything, let alone a nail polish. So I thought that was really cool. But yeah, that's Metro Chic. And then I have 
um, Sephora by OPI's It's All About Me, which is just a hot pink color because everybody needs a hot pink. This, I would say, is more of a fuchsia color compared to the Galore Pink. This one is more of a Barbie pink. This one has um, more of a fuchsia or magenta tone to it. And then I have my Sephora by OPI Aha Moment, which is just a white nail polish, which I've really been loving lately. I wore it in one of my Outfit of the Day videos, and I really, really like it. I think with white nail polish, you either love it or hate it. I know some people can't stand it, but I love it. I think it looks really cool on the nails, especially in the summertime when you have tan, have a tan. I think it looks really lovely. And then the last Sephora by OPI color I have is I'm with Brad which is a um, shimmery, deep, um, burgundy brown color. This is really nice also in the winter and fall. This is actually my best friend's um, favorite nail polish color. And then, let's see here. I have an Essie nail polish in, I don't know how you say this, it's Lilacism or Lilacism. Whichever one it is, um, this is from Emily or EV228. I got this from her, she sent it to me, and it's a really pretty lilac color. Lilacs are really in, as well as all pastel colors this season. And then um, I have two Berry M nail paints, which are really recent um, additions to my collection, as well as the Essie one. Um, these are both from Fleur, so if you watched my swap video, then you've seen these already. This is the Berry M nail paint in 308 Pale Purple. And then I have the Berry M Nail Paint in the color 295 Pure Turquoise, which is going to be like my new favorite color for summer. I already know it. I'm going to be wearing this all the time. I'm obsessed with this color. Every time I look at it, it just makes me feel happy. I love this color, and I'm so happy she sent it to me. And last but not least, this one is the most recent addition to my nail polish collection, and I'm really excited about it because I went on a wild goose chase for this nail polish, and I couldn't find it, and it's Revlon's Gumdrop Nail Polish, which looks like this, and it's actually really, really similar to the Essie Lilacism, Lilacism, whichever way you want to say it. They're really similar. This is a lilac color, and my friend Mary was actually wearing it and was raving about it, and I wanted it so badly. And it's a scented nail polish, so when you put it on, it leaves kind of like a like a sweet candy scent on your nails. Ooh, but it doesn't smell like candy when you sniff it out of the bottle, so I don't recommend doing that. But when it dries on your nails, it leaves like a sweet candy scent, which is really cool. But her mom actually went out and got a whole bunch of these because um, my friend Mary had told her mom that um, I really wanted a gumdrop nail polish and I couldn't find them at any of the drugstores near me. So her mom said that she would go looking for them. Little did we know, she comes back with a, like, a small army of um, these gumdrop nail polishes. Mary sent me a picture, and it was just so hilarious. So I have to give a huge thank you out to Mary's mom for getting me this nail polish because I absolutely love it, and I was so excited when Mary gave it to me. It, was, it just, like, made my day. So thank you, Mary's mom, if you're watching this. And, yeah, that is pretty much all I have as far as my nail polish here goes. Um, this is everything that I brought with me. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you guys are going to be leaving me right here in this video, if you don't want to listen to my updates, then thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time, which will be in a different location. I don't know where, but I think it'll be at one of my friend's houses. So yeah, thank you for watching. So if you are sticking around for my little updates, I just kind of want to tell you guys that this is going to be the last video that I'm filming here since I'm moving out and I'm really sad to be leaving my roommate and she lives on the East Coast so I'm not going to be seeing her and we're not going to be living together next year in the fall so it's really really a sad um, time for me and it's just really stressful with final projects and finals and packing everything up and getting out of here by the end of the week. So I just have a lot on my shoulders right now and plus 
I feel like I might be getting sick again. I don't know what's going on. Um, my throat is a little bit sore, but I just want to apologize for you. Um, I know I've been a bit dead on the internet lately. I haven't really been tweeting or answering form spring questions or um, posting videos as often as I would like, but it's really just because I'm so overwhelmed and I have so much going on and I really just have to get this stuff out of the way before I can concentrate fully on making videos because I don't want to put anything out there for you guys that isn't something that I like or want to show you. I really want to put good videos out there for you guys. But um, yeah, I just kind of wanted to let you guys know what's going on. So um, this is going to be my last video for the week probably. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll be back with um, my um, May favorites probably next week. I'll be filming it next week. I'm not sure when I'm going to film it, but this is the last video I'm filming for this week, so I just kind of want to let you guys know where I am. I'm still alive. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just really busy, so I hope you all can understand, and I will be back very soon. So thank you all for watching, and thank you all for supporting me and getting me this far on YouTube, I am still absolutely, absolutely shocked at um, how far I've come since the beginning when I started this. So a contest will be coming up soon once everything just kind of settles down and goes back to normal. So thanks again for watching and I will see you all later. Bye!